This past year, our salutatorian tried something new by taking on an acting role in Anne of Green Gables. But we will always remember her best as our devoted president of Sodality. In that role, she led us in prayer each day, hosted our virtual March for Life during COVID, led Wednesday Rosary, helped with the setup for masses, and organized numerous library service projects. In the fall, our salutatorian, a woman of deep and abiding faith, will attend the Collegium Sanctorum Angelorum in Maryland, where she plans to study the liberal arts with a focus on sacred music. Congratulations to the salutatorian for the class of 2022, Rachel Smoller. in the STEM subjects, but she is also an accomplished musician who has played piano since her early childhood and is a dedicated conservationist. Academically, she is distinguished by her ability to make connections across diverse fields. This interdisciplinary approach is reflected by the multiple academic medals for best class performance that she's received in subjects as diverse as AP Physics, American Literature, and even Chorus. With her interest in cognitive science as the prime directive, our valedictorian crafted a four-year academic plan that allowed her to take 11 AP classes, including every AP science class that we offer, and to exceed our math curriculum, all while earning a beyond perfect GPA. To further her academic interests, our valedictorian spent two years working after school and during the summers with the Neuroscience Laboratory at Vanderbilt. The professor for whom she worked described her as the best high school student that he had worked with in 37 years. We're not surprised. In addition to her intellectual pursuits, she is also a leader who has served her class as vice president, ambassador, lead programmer of our robotics team, President of Mu Alpha Theta and Vice President of National Honor Society. In addition, our valedictorian has devoted herself to many hours of service, especially during COVID when she worked with Second Harvest. Most importantly, she is gracious and giving, both brilliant and talented. She accepts the honors she has earned with a wonderful sense of modesty and humility. This fall, she will attend Dartmouth College where she plans to major in neuroscience. Congratulations to you the valedictorian for the class of 2022, Ellie Rogers.
The title of St. Cecilia Girl is the highest honor St. Cecilia Academy confers on a student. By a vote of the juniors and seniors with faculty approval, a senior is chosen who best exemplifies the ideals of St. Cecilia Academy. The St. Cecilia Girl is also the recipient of the Lisa Elkin Bruner Memorial Scholarship. Lisa Elkin graduated from St. Cecilia in 1973 when she too was named St. Cecilia Girl. Lisa died in 1993 and her family began a scholarship fund in her honor because of Lisa's love and dedication to St. Cecilia. Joining us today to present the scholarship is Mary Elkin May, class of 1979, and Mrs. Ray Elkin Fort, St. Cecilia Academy, class of 1971, sister of Lisa. We invite you to come to the stage. charm and good humor. From the moment she arrived at St. Cecilia, she has been a natural leader. She's confident, exceptionally personable, persuasive, and always makes an effort to include those around her. She juggles an incredible workload, taking all honors in AP classes, plays varsity basketball, sings in our choir, performs lead roles in our school plays and musicals, and does an extensive amount of service, all with a cheerful smile. During COVID, she put her faith into action as she spent many hours with Urban Bicycle Food Ministry, delivering burritos, cold drinks, and more importantly, good cheer to countless homeless men and women throughout the city. Not surprisingly, her peers voted this multi-talented, gracious, and compassionate young woman spirit queen last year and class president for the past several years. Our St. Cecilia girl will attend the University of Southern California in the fall where she will major in public health with a minor in theater and film. It is my pleasure to introduce the 2022 St. Cecilia Girl and recipient of the Lisa Elkin Bruner Scholarship Award to Isabella Tiem. St. Cecilia is alive in this room. It's so, so beautiful. So beautiful. Thank you all. Seniors, at this time we have just a, a little reception for you all in the alumni hall to have some time to celebrate together. So just some light refreshments. So seniors, I would invite you all if you want to go ahead and stand and our families who are with us to go to alumni hall just to enjoy a little reception together. 